Hi, I welcome you to my ePlan Pro Panel routing course. So, first a little bit about me. I'm an electrical design engineer and I've been doing electrical design for the last 10 years exclusively in industrial environment on automation projects. On the one hand in the automotive industry and on the other hand in the process industry for example food and beverages, chemical, pharmaceutical, oil and gas and so on. In this course we're gonna learn about a routing section inside ePlan Pro panel. There is also a volume 1 course this is the volume 2. In the volume 1 we learn the basics how to even insert a cabinet, place some devices, place the wire ducts, rails and so on. So this is the upgrade of the first course where we further expand our knowledge about ePlan Pro panel. If you want to know more about me, about my work, then head over to Udemy. I have over 15 courses over there. Check them out and see for yourself if you like my teaching style and if you like the topics that I cover. So I generally cover electrical design and also the software I commonly use when designing stuff. For example, this ePlan Electric P8 and the Pro Panel, then also Simars Design and so all the other software I use to finish a certain project. So let's talk about this course. So we're gonna build a 3D panel layout of this schematic over here. Starting from the first page, let's expand a little bit. So the power in feed and then the central topic, motor direct online starter. I have a separate course that covers the creation of this and what all of these elements over here do. You can either check that course or if you are already familiar with the basics of electrical design and the electrical circuits, I will definitely give you these ePlan pages as a resource for you to download so you can import these pages to your project and you don't have to draw all of this from scratch. I will also give you the parts database that is the EDZ files so you don't have to find them on the internet you just import the part numbers you insert those pages and then you can start to work together with me in this course let's head over now to 3d space as I said this is something you're gonna create in 3d and let's see over there let's close this one expand and we're gonna start off by inserting of course a cabinet then all the wire ducts the thin rails and the elements on the door and the elements on the back plate after that we're gonna start to plan our routing and the end the result of all of this is going to be this So we're gonna wire each and every device inside a 3D layout space. Let's click on the door and add mounting panel. One more time wire. Let's see how this looks like a little bit. The main switch. Then emergency stop push button, then some push buttons, general start and stop, and then the lamps. This is on the door. Also over here on the back plate, some devices, water overload switch, the contactor, circuit breaker, and some terminals. So altogether, a little bit of everything from the real life situations. So when we are done with the wiring, 
Then we're gonna learn how to optimize the wire length, add some extra length to be on the safe side, and at the end, how to export and how to further use this information we now have. So for example, the wire lens, how do we use them further for panel builder and so on. I hope you find this presentation interesting. If you like what you see, enroll in the course and I'll be seeing you in the lectures.